All right, welcome to another how to animate video. So for this video, we are going to be talking about my distaste for this quality of certain very popular animes and those animes by no means are bad. It's just this one quality about them, about many animes, it becomes a crutch. So the best word I can describe my distaste for the comedy in these animes is novelty. So my issue with some of the comedy in some of these animes, and this is not, if you've seen my videos about Chainsaw Man, this is actually not about so much the, the lack of comedy in Chainsaw Man. It is how certain animes overuse certain novel tists, you know, th these trends, these memes, so like a spy family, what is the issue with spy family? It is the overuse of their characters and it is the lack of plot in spy family. Spy family is a very character centric anime, but at the same time, they lack a plot. We want to know what happens in the plot. It's not necessarily what's happening. It's all about the characters, the social dynamics of the family, and it's kind of just the overuse the kind of inside joke of these characters not knowing that you know everyone has their own secret and we're all kind of experiencing it through anya but the thing is the punchlines of a lot of the anime is anya's reaction so i've talked to a few friends about spy family it's just like it's too much of a slice of life there's not more substance to make people want to care so I think, you know, I'm an older person now. I'm 31 years old. So if you're more of like a teenager or younger, this sitcom feel that Spy Family presents is something that is in, you know, the the age group of what Spy Family is for. But for someone like me and someone older, the lack of plot to bring in uh, all those elements of making Anya more of a comedy relief a comedic relief rather than being the main thing that we're looking for so those things just constantly pop up and up and up it's very very lighthearted, and it's mostly the plot that carries a story through that makes you know a viewer want to stay there rather than coming back just to see anya make another face at the same time there are a lot of good qualities about spy family i still like it but my excitement over watching it week over week it's kind of waned so i've at this point i stopped writing reviews for it and i'm kind of just you know waiting it out and watch it maybe here and there it's that lack of plot it's the theme of the characters the theme of anya doing all those little kid things that are very heartwarming like i've had enough of that you know i want something a little bit deeper so that is one part of spy family that you know, it kind of annoys me a bit and it's just the lack of a more hardcore kind of plot. It doesn't even have to be that hardcore. It's just the advancement of it. It is what it is. Another anime would be like a One Punch Man. Now, this isn't a negative quality of One Punch Man. Now, the One Punch Man story, what's great about One Punch Man, what is the joke of One Punch Man? It is Saitama, one hitter quitter, all these characters that you know are super powerful or whatever there's usually this shonen arc that battles out with some characters so that happened in season one but that is not what's interesting about one punch man your main thing cannot just be a comedic element it has to be an actual plot so that's what one punch man gets that you have to create a plot you have to create a world you have to world build you have to create all these other characters you have to create characters like genos uh, you know, Fubuki and all these other characters that we care about. You know, we grow to love, we grow to love King. That is the whole point, right? Is to build a roster and build a plot around these characters that have faults. Saitama has his own faults, but at the end of the day, to save the world, we all know that he's gonna one punch the crap all these other characters. So that cannot be the focus. The focus has to be on a character like Garo. So the whole purpose of building up an antagonist like that is like that's the character that we are relating more to you know a character like king is a character we relate a lot more to 
So when we look at Saitama, he's not as interesting. He's funny. There's a lot of comedic characteristics about Saitama that we can relate to. But at the end of the day, it's the plot and the characteristics around the other characters that have faults, that have human faults, that make the plot go, that makes us want to continue reading or watching One Punch Man. So that is what you know One Punch Man gets. Just imagine if Saitama every single episode is just one punches every single character, you'll get sick of it. So that's why I'm harping a lot more on this year's roster of animes that kind of overuse a little bit too much of the novelty of these comedic parts of these characters like an Anya. So this gets my point all the way to Chainsaw Man. So if you guys read the Chainsaw Man manga, there's a totally, I will, I am not arguing with anyone. Chainsaw Man manga is 100% more funny than the anime and is a huge part of the manga, the manga experience of Chainsaw Man. But like I said, right, the comedy can be overused. Chainsaw Man itself, the anime, they opted for a more serious appeal, stick more to the plot make it more relatable in that aspect everything that's serious can't just be like a joke it can't all be sarcastic there has to be a feel that an audience has to be able to connect to so in that aspect of chainsaw man now i still have my if you watch my other chainsaw man videos youtube videos you know that i prefer more comedy to it because the plot elements the storytelling how they're presenting it is actually very well done it's just it, there's like this missing sauce my point is is they have a good plot they have characters that they're building that we can relate to that we find interesting that we want to see what happens in the next episode because of the plot because all these characters have defects you know we're all humans we all sin we all do things that you know we're just imperfect you know chainsaw man the anime it gets it in that way where they don't use enough of the comedy so they have to scale it back and make it a more serious vibe that's why it has a more darker dreary kind of feel it's not the comedy itself that makes these animes these stories very very interesting it is the plot it is the seriousness of these characters is something marvel is having trouble with and it all culminated in thor or whatever the hell that movie was <laughs> where it's all just comedy so i hate to use that marvel reference but i think people understand the criticism of that too much funny and too much repeat of the funny it's not good and it gets really really bland really really dry really fast so yeah chainsaw man that's why it's most likely more serious it keeps more of that dark feel to the anime so this all culminates into what i think about the eminence and shadow episode six so if you guys been following me i've been uh doing uh, episode reviews of the eminence and shadow so i've like love this anime i love a lot of aspects of it but episode six was the very first episode where i felt a little bit bored because they use the same kind of humor the same themes right so sid is the main character a lot of what's funny about the character in the story is like he's trying to be his background character but he it ends up being a main character basically and he created this whole kind of shadow organization of this harem of girls that all admire him because of his wit and so the joke is basically throughout the story you know he just coincidentally finds himself in the right position all the time so that can get old really fast and then what else that they did is they recycled another element from an earlier episode where they are trying to ask girls out to be you know their girlfriend so it's a whole little joke a little gag we've already seen that and we've seen it done better so it's kind of weird to kind of bring that back that is one of the things that you know it gets old quickly right so they just use these elements in the story that is a theme a, a, a motif if you will with the comedy that comes up again and again 
and it's that Sid element of it where he's this you know he's a powerful character but he always finds himself in the right position even though he's actually completely wrong those are the things that you know if you bring it back every single episode even if you bring it back every couple episodes it gets boring man it just it's the same thing it becomes formulaic you could predict what's gonna happen there's an aspect of seriousness where you have to balance it out to make those jokes maybe work still you know remix it a little bit bring something new to the table that is you know my criticism about the comedy where it it happens again it's not that funny it's certain things it's like telling the same joke twice three times four times like i've had enough of this joke please at least tell it in another way or something right so that is pretty much my issues about the comedy of some of these uh anime series so like a spy family like the eminence and shadow like how chainsaw man uses the lack of that comedy these are just aspects where i find you know it gets boring very very quickly i've had friends that watch spy family where they're just like yeah i'm kind of bored of it something has to happen quickly and it's kind of like the uncle from another world too uncle from another world everything is just a joke there's no not enough of a serious plot there's no real ant antagonist so the joke can only go on for so long before you get bored of it you have to bring in something more serious and it has to be plot driven so like a story like attack on titan or something like we want to know how this thing ends we want to know we just want to know how it ends and it's all plot driven right is because there's serious aspects to the story so those are the best kind of animes and it's not the comedy it is the story it is the plot so that is my opinion on this let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to my channel uh check out my figure collection channel it's called otaku sin but otaku sin with the space in the middle and go ahead and check out my blog at otakusin.com check out my tiktok i appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video.